Virgin Galactic making space tourism a reality. Virgin Galactic's new VSS Unity space plane has flown free for the first time this week. It was released from its carrier aircraft at 10.40 a.m. After a 10-minute glide, it landed back on its runway in Mojave. Virgin Galactic seemed to be on the fast track to making space tourism a reality. This is Virgin Galactic's first free flight test since the fatal accident in October 2014 that destroyed the company's initial space plane, and claimed the life of one pilot and injured another. The company attributed the disaster to pilot error, as the space plane's folding wings were unlocked too early. The VSS Unity is the replacement craft. Since September it has been flown five times attached to its carrier aircraft to test airflow and performance at high altitude in the frigid temperatures of the upper atmosphere. On the 3rd of December, the sixth flight took place. This time, when the aircraft reached an altitude of 50,000 feet, Unity was released and allowed to fly free for the first time. During its descent, it reached a speed of 735 km per hour, 456 miles per hour. Although this is about 0.6 times the speed of sound, the company described it as light and slow because the space plane will have to break the sound barrier to reach the edge of space. To accelerate in this way, the spacecraft will need to ignite its rocket engine. The VSS Unity has the same basic design and engines as the airframe as the VSS Enterprise, but it has a modified feather locking system. When activated, the feathering system rotates the wings vertically to increase drag and assist with landing. VSS Unity includes a mechanical pin on the feathering control system that prevents it from being activated while it is under high acceleration. Virgin Galactic aims to build a fleet of Spaceship 2 vehicles to fly paying passengers on round trips to suborbital space. The company's Spaceship 2 cannot orbit the Earth. The spacecraft is designed to launch six passengers and two pilots 62 miles 100 kilometers, above the planet, where they will experience several minutes of weightlessness and witness views of Earth from space. The company now promises more glide tests before a return to powered flight. Eventually, it intends to carry space tourists for $250,000 each. The company says it will only begin flying passengers when it is confident it can be done safely. VSS Unity needs to head much higher in the atmosphere to be properly tested. In particular, engineers are going to be looking at how its rocket engines perform in the upper atmosphere and how heat is dissipated. Virgin Galactic doesn't have a firm timeline for commercial flights yet, but several competitors have picked up steam while Virgin was picking up the pieces. Blue Origin says it will be ready for passengers as soon as 2018. In September, SpaceX founder Elon Musk said that his company's ultimate goal was to offer trips to Mars for just $200,000 per person. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe.